Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you basic, uh, basics about Photopia. So what is Photopia? It is an advanced image editor which can work with both raster and vector graphics. You can use it for simple tasks such as resizing images as well as complex tasks such as uh, designing web pages, creating illustration, processing photographs and more. Uh, this website will tell you or teach you how to use Photopia step by step. Uh, we'll start with the basics and uh, well, gradually progress to more complex features. You can straight away see that uh, Photopia is a lot like Photoshop, but you can run it in your Google Chrome or any other uh, any other like um, Mozilla or whatever you are into, even on Mac. So how do we start? First things first, as you can see, we need to drop uh, some files here. It's uh, very easy. You can uh, use it uh, by uh, drag and drop uh, system or basically go into top left corner, press file and basically open from the files that uh, we have here. Let's go with this one. You can also start a completely new one or a new project where uh, you can basically name it like tutorial, for example. You can choose width, height, you can choose pixels, percent, uh, millimeters or inches. You can choose your background, which is uh, uh, very nice as well. You can go with white, black, transparent if you want to do some cuts or custom one. Then uh, we can go by uh, uh, pre-made like pixelage, which is a Facebook page, shared image, event image, or into print, which is A3, A4, photo, screen, mobile, and then ads. Once we're done, we just hit create and we are in there. Or if you want uh, to go with a new one, you can also pick the template like hello world. Oh, what a beautiful day it is. But let's not focus on those. Let's work with this lake we have here. Easily you can edit the steps. You can undo it, redo it. We can go step forward or backwards, which is basically the same style as uh, we are used to at uh, Photoshop. It's very, very easy. We can cut, copy, copy, merge, paste, and then we can also uh, rotate the images. But you see, we are not now committing to the previous style of the photo. But if you are not satisfied with the change you made, you can just press undo button. Then to the image itself, we can add a new layer, which you will see on your right side. Also where you can now uh, do changes or can easily delete it by pressing the delete button. We, uh, we can uh, auto tone it, auto contrast it, or adjust it as it is. We can go with default brightness, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, hue and saturation. And straight away, if we move this block, we see how there's a absence of hue or, or, or saturation or lightness. So very useful stuff that you probably saw at uh, Photoshop. When we are moving down, we can reduce colors, uh, canvas sizes, images sizes. Then we have layers, select filters, views, and also windows. Window is pretty uh, important one because on this right side, as you can see, you have windows with all the actions that you can take on this photo. So in the first one, we have paragraph, tool, presence, and all the other stuff. But uh, I strongly recommend just keeping it in this side panel. 
So for example, when we want to go and write something down, we can use this shortcut to basically enhance the, all the colors. Then we have properties, brushes, uh, characters, paragraphs, tool presets, CSS, and also the gallery that you can basically insert uh, the work from. You can uh, micromanage these uh, two side panels very easily. In Windows, as you can see, uh, with this scratched in uh, stuff, you can basically add or um, delete all these uh, characters, for example. If you want to get rid of characters, I strongly am um, against that and don't do it. You just press on characters and you'll get uh, there. But you can get rid of them by closing them. If you want to bring them back, you just click on characters and they reappear at the side panel. This side panel is also very useful for uh, history. Let's say we want to write something down. Let's go with hello world. We press enter or go back. And as you can see, we now can move with the image. We can rotate it, make it uh, bigger, smaller, like this or like that. And uh, straight away we created a, a new layer. But if we want to get rid of it or we and we don't want to go with undo or step forward or backwards shortcut, we can go and basically use history to go through our changes or our actions. So it's like the uh, fast approach uh, to the layer scheme or uh, layer system at uh, Photopia. Then we have this uh, second bar where we can uh, save it as PNG, for example, or uh, basically get in touch with the Photopia team via uh, different uh, sites, uh, for example, Twitter or Facebook. Then we have we can transform controls on the other, uh, on this other floor. We can micromanage the distances between uh, each takes or each changes at Photopia and so on and so on. We can center everything uh, horizontally and basically you really, you, you just need time to get in a, and feel comfortable with Photopia. On the bottom right side, as you can see, we have the layers itself. We can lock them or unlock them. We can make them uh, transparent or present or not. When we click uh, with the right click on our mouse on uh, this layer, you can uh, basically do a lot of stuff with it like there are blending options select pixels duplicate layer which is very nice one but also delete it the last thing that is pretty uh, or very important for uh, uh photopia beginner um, like tutorial is this left panel you can see we have all the options of we have all the options of uh, Photoshop here. We can start with Move Tool, which is basically the essential one that you will be using defaultly. Then we have rectangle shapes we can use and then uh, do whatever you want to do with it. Then very important is Magic Wand. Magic Wand where you want to uh, insert where you want to insert uh, for example object with borders and you want just to take uh, uh, some parts from the picture that you already w want and get rid of the background for example you will use magic wand 
then we have crop tools then we have a spot healing brush we have brush tool then gradient uh, blur um, text itself pen pad select rectangle hand tool we have zoom which we can use and i have to say that the zoom tool you can't actually use it with a scroll wheel so you can uh, get easily like into the perspective that you want to so this is a little bit clunky and that i will say that that, that needs probably some work but you can get uh, along with it pretty well the last thing is uh, very simple let's say you are so satisfied with uh, your work that this is your masterpiece and you want to save it you have to go to the top left corner uh, to the file and here you can save it as psd or you can export it as png jpeg svg gif or pdf and way more you can export layers itself or you can straight away print it so if you want uh, in the end still do some work on this image in photoshop or you want to send it to basically uh, finish the project in photoshop or let someone else who's using photoshop do it you will save it as png you can yet again name it you can uh, choose the width or height but i don't recommend it and also you can select uh, the quality of the image but i recommend you to go 100 percent also you don't have to use palettes and then you hit save and straight away is saved so guys uh, i created a lot of uh, detailed videos about uh, photopia around like 50 so how you can use all uh, the stuff that uh, we've been talking about to reach the top performance or top shelf at uh, photopia this video should just show you how great of a program uh, photopia is and in this state how you see it and uh, how you saw me recording this video photopia is completely free so you don't have to basically pay a penny to work in photopia which is really really great way how to find out if the photopia is uh, the editor for you and i strongly recommend you trying it and also check all the others videos so thanks guys for watching hope you find it useful um, and see you in the next video thank you very much and have a nice day